And I guess we're live. Hi. Uh, if I did this correctly, I should be in the 10 day marketing group with uh, myself, Barbara Arpster, and um, Terry Landra. Uh, let's see here. Get all discombobulated. Okay. I wanted to just go over. I'm just going to do a quick, little brief, little live video here. It won't. I won't keep you long. I have this cough, nagging cough, so <coughs> try it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said the words. <coughs> okay, so I want to get through this for you without coughing in your face. But I wanted to go over three things that um, uh, people who work online, business leaders, should do every day to help with their success. And um, the first one is to take care of yourself. Um, oh, I didn't introduce myself. See, Barbara Arbster with BarbaraArbster.com. Well, anyways, let's get back now. You want to take care of yourself. Uh, proper sleep, diet, and exercise. Um, staying up. Some some of us tend, and I, I've done this, you stay up so late, you're trying to finish all those emails, get the blog post posted, um, you know, send an email out to your list, um, work on your website, wh whatever you're doing. You want to get things done, um, but while you're getting these things done, you're hurting yourself, you're hurting your health, you're hurting your productivity. So it can also hurt you and hinder you for the following day. So getting a good night's sleep will help with your mental clarity, your memory, and your creativity. So you want to, you want to get your rest. It, it's, it'll be much more valuable and beneficial in the long run. And through the day, when you find yourself sitting too long at the computer, you need to get up and take a walk, even if it's around your house a few times, or if you have a treadmill, or um, up and down a set of stairs. Even if it's just for 10 minutes, you'll come back feeling re renewed, uh, refreshed, the circulation going, and uh, the ideas will flow. Um, I find myself, I I'll sit too long and. Um, Last month, I bought myself one of those Fitbits, and this darn thing will, it'll buzz me. It'll buzz me, and I'll look at it, and it'll say, you know, get to step in, you know, go take a walk. You need to go get so many steps in to have 250 steps in. It's a pretty good idea, so if anyone can get one, go ahead and get one. But Or or you could set a timer, you know, to, that, that dings and tells you, get up and move. And then daily meditation, it's a great way to start the day or any time through the day. You just sit for 10 to 20 minutes. You can either either just breathe and focus on the breaths going in and out, or while doing this, you can also visualize what it is you want to be. What are your goals? What you'll feel like when you reach those goals, when the house is paid off, when you have vacation money and you're taking the kids or grandkids on vacation, the kids college paid for, the grandkids college saved for, paid for whatever maybe you needed a new car or things done to the house maybe you just want to help somebody else out with some money you just want to have some financial freedom and then you want to create your own work schedule and do your best um, to stay focused on that work that you've scheduled every day try not it, it happens when you work from home it happens you fall off the schedule but Try to stay focused on that work that you've scheduled. You may need to um, turn off the phones, log out of Facebook, close your office door, and put a do not disturb sign on it. I have done that many times. I'll, I'll just, I just write on a call or busy or do not disturb, whatever. And then I, unless it's an emergency, they know they can, they can come banging on that door or yell for you. But. It, I think it's a little harder for the moms and the grandmas that are working from home because people tend to look at the, the female. <laughs> uh, but these days, the dads do a lot of stuff, too. I know what my boys do with their kids. But um, they tend to always think that mom and grandma is available. And, and we are. We are. We're always available. But um, sometimes you have to pop, just you need to get your things done, too. And sometimes they need to understand that. And then, <coughs> excuse me, 
You need to be flexible and willing to learn. When working online and with your own business, there is always going to be things that come up that can be very frustrating at times, but only if you let it. So don't let it. Nothing's perfect. There's always these issues that come up, um, technical glitches. Um, something will come up that you don't know how to do, you need to do. Uh, whatever it is, the internet is a, a vast space of knowledge now. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, you do have to be selective. You can't believe every little thing on the internet. So you have to do a little bit of, when you, when you search for something, go on Google, you type in what you want. Um, you'll get all these websites come up. You just look through several and, and you go with what resonates with you. And um, so you can usually always find an answer on Google. And then you have your friends and you have your team members, uh, all the people you work with, um, you have them for support. And they can always help you out with what you know. There's always somebody out there that knows something that you need to know. And I'm gonna throw in one last little extra action. Do something, or <laughs> action, something every day, even if you don't feel like it. Small, these small action steps done daily, consistently, will produce results. They will. So, till next time, enjoy your day. Peace. Hope you enjoyed this.